frequency between the mark culture and, and the, the modern, modern culture. culture. Now, in their struggle to pursue or to quest the other's provocation, Tayo and Russian face different challenges emanating from different cultural discrepancies. Now, we they, we they walk with their heads in the, in the clouds or we they succumb to the pressures of the Nasila tradition. Only time with the Zimbole la 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 Zimbole la 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 Zimbole la 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 Zimbole la 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 I am worried. 
What do you think will happen to us if the shop Papa intends to open does not go on successful like he hoped? Resiana, I hear you. I don't know any better than you, but Father thinks that the shop will be a success. I overheard him tell one of his friends that he's going to stock it with agricultural products such as fertilizers, animal drugs, chemicals, and you know, Nasila is an agricultural area, so it's bound to do good. Let's just have faith in him and hope for the best. I don't want to work there. I want to come back in Akuru, join Igaton University, do a veterinary course, and be a veterinary doctor. And by the end of the four years, I'll wear a graduation gown, and that'll be called Dr. Resian Kailo. <laughs> It's also my ambition to join the university. If Father allows us, I love it. What it is? Now you see, Tayo, that's why we have to persuade Papai. We must persuade him to let us come back to Nakuru and join Igaton University. No, Resian. I can't talk to Papai. You know our father. He's very stubborn. But Tayo. But what, Resian? Just try to talk to him, please. Please, Tayo. OK, I'll try. Thank you. Wow. Look at this place. It's beautiful, right? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. I can't believe it. Oh my God, Tayo. What are you doing there instead of helping me pack? And you, Rasiyan, can you run downstairs and check what is happening? Are we ever going to leave? Quick, move it. Ah, uh, yes, now. Are you ready to go? Uh, yes, my husband. You know, we have to start our journey early enough to find some diamond of lot of luggages from the lorry and start arranging our new house. Uh, well, I think uh, it's best to pray for Johnny Master. Yeah, and I think you should make it short and sweet. <laughs> uh, dear Enkai, we pray that you're going to give us Johnny Master. I pray for my daughter so that they can be able to adapt to the new culture. I even pray for my husband's business so that you can be able to grow. And in Jesus' name we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. They set off on their journey, each with their own thoughts. Well, the family traveled in a van where their properties were held in two ten-ton lorries, and each was on their own thoughts. Mama Milanoi on her part, remember the day her husband broke the retrenchment view from the Agribix Limited, and she wondered how her husband, who she had married to for 22 good years, would be able to support her family. But on the other hand, Olekalo received the news stoically and was ready to start his own new life in Nasila. But uh, he even managed to convince um, uh, Olekalo to see things positively and otherwise. And we're not the same thing so. But there was one problem. Have even friends in Asila referred their daughters as Intoye? Nemengalana, yes, meaning the uncircumcised girls. And what kind of a self-respecting man would marry an Intoye Nemengalana? Well, on the family front though, he felt cheated. He had married, uh, he had wanted three sons but ended up with two daughters, that is Tayo and Resian. And on the other hand, his younger brother, known as Simiren, was, uh, had, married, had married four wives and had about 16 children. And for sure, Simiren was a very hard-working man. Eh? Well, Simiren was considered as the cultural head of the Kailos, but Ole Kailo was still the old Morijoi. This hurt Kailo very much, but there was no rivalry between the two, between the two, uh, between the two brothers. And uh, ever since Ole Kailo got married to Milanoi, Milanoi was a very beautiful woman, and today she is still a very beautiful uh, woman. And he loved her so much, and he also loved Tayo very much. But on the other hand, the spice Resian, and this made Resian to grow difficult to deal with. And at 18 years of age, the Sian's body had blossomed to early womanhood, and her father resolved to marry her off. And when they were on their journey, one of the lorries broke down. Oh, what are you trying to tell me? I mean, I can't even understand. What kind of a lorry is this that breaks down anywhere? I can't believe this. Hey, you, do faster. We don't have the whole day here. Ah, all right, let me go and check the cafreta. <laughs> Yes, soon they were back on track and 
and the lorries roared into the small town of Nasila. Tayo and the Sian strained their eyes because they wanted to see the new town, which would soon become their new home. And when they reached an at Anko Simiren's home, they were welcomed by a jubilant crowd. <laughs> Look around. Hmm? 
gigantic trees planted in between the houses. Wow. Uh, girls, we have to come inside so that you can take your breakfast, okay? Okay, okay. your kitty. Yes, come inside. Mommy! Mommy, mommy! <laughs> Expectant at that rate. <laughs> Come on, bitch, Wesian. 
There are better things to discuss and parents have a right to have as many children as they desire and you will have your own right when your turn comes, you know. Who? Me? No. I must study, mm -hmm. be a veterinary doctor, mm -hmm. then matters such as children and husband will come later. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> From the Puto. Please don't harm us. We have no money. Puto, do you want your money? Then what do you want? Puto, do you want your money? Now, today, I just came to see what stars you are made of. I didn't do the thing from the Puto. I do. I do. Please, my sister, no. you're not the kind of women you think we are. I'll be back. I'll be back. And when they come, when they come, Hello. you know what stars I am made of. Stupid. <laughs> oh, Tayo, Tayo, I am happy that his intention was not to rape her. Yes, Christian, his intention could have been not that even rape. I think we better go and tell our parents about this. No, 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 Tayo. We must not tell Papa because Papa will never understand us. Okay, then, I think we better go back home. Yes, it is important. Let us go. Yes, let's go. We are going. We go. Go. into their new house and then set off with his own pickup to go and see his old friend and mentor known as Ole Supeo. Yes, Ole Supeo was his friend and mentor. And way back when Ole Supeo, uh, when Ole Kailo was still in primary school, Ole Supeo was still in business. Would buy many kettle in Asila and would go all the way to Bagoretti and go and sell those kettle and make a lot of profit. Well, he was a very rich man. He owned acres and acres of land, fleets of buses, lorries, and I'm telling you, he was as rich, as rich, uh, as rich as I am. And my dear friends, my dear friends, well, uh, Alessio was an illiterate man. 
He didn't know how to count. So what he would do, he would wait until Ole Kailo was back from school. Then they would go deep into the forest where they would go and tally the amount. And to his surprise, it would tally to what he had aggregated it to earlier on. And this way, he came to trust Ole Kailo very much. But he was a different man from the others because he knew how to balance between the uh, modern tradition and the Nasila tradition. Because he had about 30 children and he had taken all of them to school. And two of his boys were at the university level. All his who were circumcised and married to prominent Nasila elders. And well, he hated one woman. Yes, one woman known as Minik and Enkoitoi Thi Emma Kerere, a certain manager of a certain ship ranch called Itarenaju Ranch. And he used to refer to her as the Wasp. from my sleep. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I think... Uh, no, 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 no. Have a seat, have a seat, have a seat, my friend. <laughs> have a seat. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Just come. You don't want to sit on my expensive canopy. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> yes. Uh, let me get you some tea. Oh, thank you, yes, thank you. you. Oh, my brother. Yes. Oh, it's been long, it's been long. Yes. Keep your daughters as far away from that man. 
Eh? Keep that man away from your daughters. How did you even get to meet that man? What? Yeah. But I'm running even the of words. Now I, I must go. No problem. Uh, let me see you off, yeah? Uh, wait for me, my brother. Let me put this inside. I want to see you off. How did you even meet this man? Let's go. But be very clear. Even inappropriate, but such was the Nasila culture, and they could not change a thing since their home belonged to everybody. 
Yeah, some people came for no specific reasons. Others came to see if the girls were potential wives for their sons. Well, others, for example, the Enkai Tioni, the midwife, and the Enkamura Tani, the circumciser, came to search for new clients. The so when Ole Kailo announced that he'll be having a homecoming party, the girls are no longer strangers to the people of Nasila. Let us see Ole Kailo's homecoming party. <laughs> What's your name? 
Sayo and Ekayo. Sayo and Ekayo. Thank you very much. Hey! Oh, Ekayo, my son! Ah, uh, come here in front. First and foremost, I want to thank you for inviting us to this homecoming ceremony. And so, I want to welcome everyone and to thank everyone for availing themselves to this homecoming ceremony. And I want to tell you something. Mm -hmm. And I, as an elder, I cannot live without giving you some wise words. All right. You know, the people of Il Molelian clan, they are very generous, very generous indeed, because they even give away everything and they are left with nothing, nothing at all. But these Il Makelsel people, they are very stingy, very stingy, even in, in a way they can deny a dog an afterbirth of a she goat. That is how stingy they are. But I see your wife, Melanoi, she's a very hospitable woman. She's a very, very good and hospitable woman. And I, I know you're very proud to have a woman like her. I like Allah, my son. Thank you. You can continue with your Thank you. Thank you, my family. father. I'm glad that everyone is enjoying. Yes. Thank you. All right. Home is there to receive you. 
Welcome back, Wale Kaelo. Wale Musaka, you can continue. Thank you. All right. That is very true, Mike. Home is never far to anyone that is still alive. Wale Kaelo, please come forward. Speaking of home, home is ma. Home is family. Home is children. Kill one of these four pillars and you'll have no home to talk about. My son, reassimilate yourself with your people's culture. Or else, just like the tiny strand of hair, you'll drop down and be stamped on. My elder, yes. it is my wish and prayer that you teach our son all the ways of Ma. Yes, I will teach him and you shall be ready to learn and assimilate to our cultures. Also, cut him off from all the alien cultures. Yes. Thank you. You can go back. Now, women of the Nasilan men. Yeah. Women of the Nasilan men. Yeah. It is also my wish and prayer that you teach Milanoi and their daughters how to become very good women of the Nasilan men. Yeah. Isn't that so women of the Nasilan men? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, I would like to issue a warning together with my elder. Yes. I would like to issue a warning to the daughters of Ole Kailo. That is Tayo Ene Kailo and Resian Ene Kailo. Do not dare listen to that crusader. That was called a Makere. That caused every crusader that we should live with Intoye and Magalana in our community. Tama! 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 With all due respect, Listen and listen very, very keenly because in this Ma community we are not going to live with Ito and Mengalana in this community. Taba, 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 taba. Living with Ito and Mengalana is an abomination which we will not take it very lightly. Yes, taba, taba, taba. We are not going to live with Ito and Mengalana in our community. Do you hear that, Kylo? No into in yes. our community. Yes. Thank you, my love. All right. Enough with the issuing of warnings. I would also like to bless one of all Kylo's daughters. That is Tayo and Kylo. My son. Now, do you see this beautiful lady over here? Mm. This beautiful lady blessed me with a very good and sweet delicacy. And because of that, I am going to bless her. Psyo and Ekaino, because of your good deeds, you are going to be the mother of the next leader of the Nasilan people. You have your seat. And uh, 
I'm here. I'm here too. Uh, hello. I'm Desia. And this is my sister. I hope you don't plan to come and take her away because Tayo here, she's mine and mine alone. Thank you very much. Uh, and Milanoi, do you know the young man your daughters are talking to? Ah. No, I don't know Then him. they must be informed immediately. Why? Is he a bad boy? No, far from it. In fact, he's the most finest and the most dependable young man we have here in a city. Uh, and what the girls to be informed about him or is he married to a vicious wife? Uh, you are wrong again. It is simply this. The young man is Joseph Banwat. His father comes from the Ilmolean clan of Ilo Russia teenage sub clan, just like us. See, therefore, it is not only a great abomination, if we allow their ignorance to discreet Nasila cultural values. But you see, their illicit contact has at all consequences to us. Therefore, they must be informed. Ah, immediately. Hey, Joseph. Hey, come, come, come over. Oh, I see you have already met Tayo and Asian, the daughters of my elder brother. Uh, yes. Meet their mother, Jen Milanoi. Uh, nice to meet you, Mama Milanoi. Yes, how are you, young man? I'm very fine, thank you. Uh -huh. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joseph asked if he can come tomorrow and also if he can coach us in music and dancing. Ah, uh, yes, he, should, he, can, he can come tomorrow, but in coaching us, you in music and dance, you have to consult your father about that, okay? As I was saying, we are all here as a family. We all come from the Ilmolean clan of Ilo Russia teenage sub clan. Therefore, practically, see, Joseph is a brother to the two of you and your sisters. Brother! What did I say? Oh, <laughs> yes, I'm glad that everything is, uh, is going on well. I'm very happy too. Now, let us proceed to the next session of the celebrations. Now, are you ready for food? Yes. Are you ready for food? Yes. Oh, you are ready? Yes. Oh, you're, oh, it's fine, it's fine. Now, let us proceed to this other side and find some space and find a place wherever it will be, under the trees or wherever you will be. Please, just tell me that food will come to your gate and the food will be brought to Now listen, 
I want you to immediately start counseling the girls to understand their new responsibilities as potential wives of the Nasilian men. Now make them appreciate and accept these new responsibilities and roles that await them. Are we together? Uh, yes, my husband. One other thing. I will ask Sumiran to request that young teacher called Joseph Parmat, who is like a brother to our daughters, to find some time and teach the girls some home truth. Then after I'll call in, in Kamurachani to play a part. Ah, uh, okay. I'm sure the girls will love that. I'll have a seat. You really shocked me. Good morning, Papa and Ah, uh, Good morning, uh, Tayo. Good morning. Good morning, Resian. Okay, yes, let's go. 
And uh, I tell you, before I forget, uh, your father agreed to Joseph to come and coaching music and dance. He did? Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>